Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Um, you know, sometimes when criminals try to haul drugs around, they get caught. Did you know that? Uh, you telling me is that possession of drugs, for one thing, is illegal in this country. And I that mean, too... You're telling me is that what like maybe like a handful of people maybe like what five or ten people a year in this country get that's it and this happened outside of our country so it might be like seven or eight but like okay okay they found a shipment of cocaine naturally uh in our country no it was in Bol- it was in Bolivia thank God that stuff hasn't made it to American shores. I don't even know what we do if Americans did cocaine <laughs> right oh my God keep Oof. that stuff away from keep my that in middle America white or, American children white, right <laughs> our white American children yes right. gotta protect our white American children from the white pony I'm glad you're aware Jonas um it was it was just a small bust only <laughs> just under nine tons. Okay, nine tons of coke. That's a lot of cocaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know what is what constitutes that's a lot of cocaine. I'm pretty sure that's a lot of cocaine. So a ton is two thousand pounds. Yeah, that is. So, so that's, that's eighteen thousand, uh, j- roughly eighteen thousand pounds of cocaine. That's crazy, Joan. I can only bench press like one seventy five. Yeah. Um. So they said the street value of that was over half a billion dollars. That sounds about. That's a lot of money. That's so much money. $500 million? Yeah. Someone is dead because of this. Uh, Yeah. 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 There's people in jail because of that. And there is also probably numerous dead people because of this. So, yeah. If somebody were to lose $500 million of my dollars, I would probably be angry enough to kill them over it. I think. I think. I don't know. I've never had that much money to lose. (laughs) I mean, so I don't know how I would react. Maybe I'd I be feel, like the understanding drug lord. He's like, you know, eh, honest yeah, mistake. Yeah, yeah, part, of the, part of the job, bro. Are you okay? That's Shucky. the important thing. That's the important. Are let me, you okay? Let me put some money in your in your account so you can get some ramen. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't have any because you lost it all. <laughs> Too soon? Bro. What's it? I couldn't imagine being responsible for half a billion dollars of cocaine. Yeah, it's a pretty big responsibility. Yeah. So how, what, what, what happened that it got uh, confiscated? Well, it was hidden on a truck, and they found it. Oh, it was hidden inside like wooden flooring. Like it was a truck full of wooden flooring, but there were like in, you know they always try to get sneaky. Mm-hmm. It was just hidden in there. And so I mean, obviously, it seems like they were tipped off. Like most of the time, it feel I feel like that stuff is a tip off. Like how the hell did the did the Fibby know that there was coke inside teddy bears inside boxes in a shipping container? Exactly. Somebody tipped them off. Exactly. Like you know what I mean? Like it ain't. Damn. I mean, they go to extraordinary bounds to hide this, hide the drugs, and then like. Yeah. I mean, granted, they have drug sniffing dogs and like whatever, so I get it. Like, I mean, I feel like if I feel like any, even like the worst drug sniffing dog is going to find eighteen thousand pounds of cocaine in a truck. It, I would like to know what kind of truck could hold eighteen thousand pounds of cocaine. Yeah, maybe it was a ship. I could have swore it said a truck. Truth, not facts, but. <laughs> Seems like a lot, even for a F one fifty. Well, no, because I think just imagine like a car carrier semi, like that, that has. I mean, each car is a few thousand pounds. And they okay. they'll roll with like thirteen cars on a thing. <laughs> I guess until you look on the bed of it and there's like a tic tac. You're like, why is this thing eighteen thousand pounds when there's a tic tac on the back? Yeah, like let me ask you this: like a deck of playing cards and the thumbtack. And like this is this is hypothetical purely. Sure. <laughs> I guess I'll just ask you bluntly: What would it cost? What would it take for you to be a drug mule? <laughs> do I like, have to put it in my ass, or do I have to swallow them? <laughs> this is the There's so many in, questions. First question: Do I have to put it in my ass? This is the questions that are important. These are important you, you questions. Had to, you had to drive the truck that has eighteen thousand pounds of coke uh. hidden inside teddy bears from. Texas to Ohio. I'm fine with that. How much money would it? How much money would they have to pay you to do it, though? Because I, I mean, mean, if you get caught, 
like life. That's yeah. huge trafficking. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I'm just I'm just talent at that point. I'm basically but yeah, I mean, if you get caught, you're the one going to jail. Wasn't there a rock movie that we just watched recently that had a similar premise? To I don't know it? if we watched a rock movie. No, it was what was the movie we saw where the guy he like uh, got caught up in a drug game and he had to like drive the car to uh we saw something I could have swore it was a rock movie too, but it maybe sounds it like something the rock would be in. It does, doesn't it? And he like, has to save his kid from the it, drug it was, it was because his son got caught up in a drug game and he had to he had to drive the truck to help his son out. It was something like that. I sure. I There's a million it, movies. But either yes. way, I mean look, you're just talent, so you can't expect it's not like I'm like coming up with the formula for but the your narcotic. life is on the line not is it? not like living life but if you get caught you're going to jail for no life. because the last thing the the drug lord is going to want you to do is say his name so he's going to be like look you're working for a company you don't know anything so even if you get caught you don't know nothing you don't get caught don't get caught because if you get caught it's your ass, well, but you don't know and I anything. Feel like, well, and I feel like a lot of times with people, who the transporters, it is like, hey, we need you to drive a load to Ohio. You know? And they're like, but I feel like a lot of transportation people, no, don't ask what's in the truck. It's that, then, that you, part. then you are literally, you. even if you took a lie detector, I don't know what's in the truck. Like, I, I was driving a truck. They asked me to take a load. I was bringing the load. Yeah. I did not ask was it, what was in the truck. Exactly. I mean, I'm telling you. That'd be like uh, if like cover somebody was like, hey, I want you to take this box across town for me. And you're like, okay. And then you get pulled over and there's drugs in it. And you're like, I didn't know there was drugs in it. But you never asked if there was drugs. Like, you still would get in trouble. Yeah, you're still a guy. But yeah, you still. don't know. Possession is not intense. Because right. then they're just going to be like, know. oh, oh, you don't know whose drugs there are. I guess they're your drugs. Yeah, Isn't like, your eighteen thousand pounds of cocaine in the back seat, Mike? Let's okay. see what kind of drug. Let's see what kind of sentence that carries with it. Oh, the rest of your life, you're ready to do that, <laughs> you or know, you just want to tell us who you work for? Yeah, tell us who you work for. It would be one year, or you can be the rest of them. How, you know what they do to guys in prison, don't you? Hey, look. The real question is, how much money is it going to take for you to stand on business if you do get caught? And all right, how much would it cost for them to you know? Like a hundred percent, like you, you are just as involved in them. You know, you are totally screwed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there, it's the difference between the plausible deniability where, like, I don't know, yeah. I was asked to, to drive a truck, but then there's the other part where, like, you help package it. You're you you're helping. Bro, you're, now you got me touching merchandise. I can't even. There's no plausible deniability none anymore. Of it. You you are a hundred percent caught if like you get caught. You like, got my trucker prints all over yeah, the all over the goods. Your prints are on the on the baggies Bro. of uh, on the little duck statues nah. that they're shoved in. Look seriously, the moment you have me touching person uh, uh, merchandise and you have me entering the game. If you want me to enter the game, that's going to take the price up drastically. Probably like 100K for me to enter the game. Other than that, just driving a truck, you toss me a cool 50G, I'm in and out. All right, take it wherever you need to go. Cross country, got you. Just give me the route, make sure it's safe. I'm not going to deviate from you. From I'm going from the speed test. limit, and I'm, exactly. and I'm just drive, taking my sweet ass time. Exactly. I'm only I'm only taking a break at every at Flying J's. I'm doing everything by the book. All right. Right. But I get signaling it there. to change lanes on the, yep. everything. Yeah. Yep. 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 Ten and two. Pulling over whenever I hear any siren. Yeah. Yeah. It, somebody's phone alarm could go off. I'm pulling over. <laughs> I'm saying They're like, sir, uh, we're pulling you over because you're going 40. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm being extra safe. I'm saying, though. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't mind. Look, I'm not trying to, like, facilitate my services or anything. Or trying, <laughs> this isn't All of a sudden, the comments on the they're going to be like, they're like, TNT, call me. Like, <laughs> yeah, looking for a driver, actually. No, I'm not trying to offer my services. This isn't a commercial. But I wouldn't mind driving a truck. Dude, I think I, think I would be so anxious that it would be terrible oh joe you never rode dirty before huh i mean you ridden dirty before i can't i'm not i'm pleading the fifth you ever rode dirty had a little I, something in the back seat i'm pleading the fifth you ever roll a little dirty a little i said riding dirty gotta go for riding dirty maybe like a little, little tenderoni in the trunk you never done that a little brick a little, yep. <laughs> a little tenderloin in the <laughs> under the front seat yeah, you never yeah, done yeah, any yeah, of that like just the thought of driving around with drugs in the car freaks mm -hmm. me out 
even oh, like even like um even like if it was like a like a state where like weed was legal and I went and bought some weed to give to a friend because I don't participate in that mm-hmm. and I was like had it with me and I it was legal I still feel like I would be like anxious because like the whole your whole life it's like drugs are illegal you're gonna get go to jail right like it's a uh, I don't know okay all right I mean not to say that if the money wasn't right I might not do it but like I'd be anxious the whole time yeah so I gave my price what's your price on it I say I say a hundred k if you want me to get in the game because I feel like I'm literally making a life altering decision fifty k if you just want me to drive a truck easy in and out we out. You're like, you're like, as far as I know, it's grandma's quilts. Yeah, and that's minimum. So obviously more would be better. Ooh. Probably keep my mouth shut. Oh, man. Maybe all your I don't know what it would. It would probably take more for me. More than 50K to make a delivery? <laughs> yeah, probably. It's like a three-day job, man. You take you a, a day and a half. It's the risk. To it's get the there, aversion to, to get back. jail that really drives me. Like it isn't so much about like yeah, I'm just driving across the country. That's fine, but like knowing that I would don't want to go to jail. Like I don't know. I, I don't know. I've never thought about my like my moral compass isn't the problem. It's the going to jail part. It's like the oh, like it's it, I don't know. Like I would. All I would keep thinking about is like, but what if you get caught and go to jail? I would be more concerned about, because I think about the whole idea of driving narcotics. The ride up there, easy. Easy, easy, easy. The drop off, that's where things can get a little sketchy. Oh, like where you actually deliver? Yeah, because now you're concerned about like, okay, is the drug lord cartel, are they going to kill me? Is somebody going to uh, come here and kill them and try to take the drugs? Or are the cops waiting for you to drop it off? Because are the cops going to be here waiting? And, and you know what's really funny is that part does not bother me. It's the transportation part that bothers me. Like because when you drop it <laughs> off, it, it whatever happens happens. It's it, it's gonna whatever is meant to be is meant to be. Really. So if it wasn't because you might potentially get a moving violation, you're perfectly fine with this. Yeah, like I, I forget to signal and like officer officer needs a ticket, hits me up and it's just like, that's, you know, you switch lanes over there, buddy, and didn't flip your signal. And that's what, oh, do I smell coke in your truck? <laughs> do I smell cocaine? What the hell you think I smell happened? cocaine. All right. Anyways, that's all time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. T.O.T. Uh, we out.